Hey gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We have another collection to try today, of course. Um, as you can tell by now, if you have checked out my channel a few times, you'll notice that I like ColourPop. <laughs> I really do, I'm obsessed with it. So we have another collection to try out. I saw this collection come out uh, two weeks ago, a week ago, I think. Um, it was very quick to ship, so I think it was only about a week ago. I just got it, very excited, and it is a nude collection. Uh, a very like dark brown, just very gorgeous collection, and I had to get it. And so today we're trying it, all right? So let's not talk anymore, let's just get right on into it. And of course, if you could give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you here. I put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. So let's dive in. The collection we're trying today is called Wild Child, and it is stunning. So let's talk about all the pieces I got. We had three lippy sticks in this um, collection, so I got all three right here. We'll be testing those later. I got one of their powdered blushes, the one that I thought would best fit my skin tone. And then of course I got the palette itself. So cute, it, it's giving me like giraffe safari vibes and I love it. We're gonna start with the palette. I always like to start with the eyes first cause that's the big ticket item. So let's pull it out of its little container. I have not opened this yet. I am literally just pulling this out. Oh my gosh. And look at, look at that, that is so pretty. I love how it's like reflective, the gold. Oh, that is just a very pretty palette. And I like how the back, the shades are like in that giraffe spotted font. Let's open it, I haven't opened this at all. So we're gonna see that plastic piece like fall down, right? Yeah, see the plastic piece is still on. I haven't opened it, oh my God. Look at that. I'm gonna bring it nice and close. Those colors are just gorgeous. I love a deep brown nude moment. I think it's gorgeous, especially I have blue eyes and there's something about like deep browns that really just make them pop. So I'm really excited. These look so cute. Oh my God. Should we swatch these? Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> um, let's go on into the swatches. All right. So I brought you in a little closer so that we can take a look at my arm when I swatch these. So we're going to start on the top here. This top nice mid-tone brown is called hashtag spotted. It's what it, very nice brown. And let's just, oh wow. That's a, that's a beautiful brown right there. Uh, like a perfect crease color. Um, and it's quite pigmented. Love that. Um, next we have Fierce. This is a shimmer color. That is so pretty. Let's just put it right under here. Wow. Again, so sparkly, so shiny, so shimmery. I really like that color. That color is right up my alley. Um, the next one, Ground Crew. Again, another very nice brown. Little darker than the first one. Oh, cute. So that right there, bringing you in a little bit. That is the first row. So we have hashtag spot it, fierce, and we have ground crew. Very pretty. Let's go on to the next, the next row. So the middle row, we have close up, lashes, and grasslands. So this, let's see, close up. Very pretty, very shiny. Oh, that's a pretty brown, I like that. Next we have lashes so this is looks like the pressed glitter so feeling it it's a bit harsher it's not as like buttery um a bit more crumbly you can feel the individual glitters here so yeah very sparkly very glittery and then next we have grasslands and this looks like a shiny it's not a shimmer color it's more like a matte with sparkles in it very very shiny and let's go right under that one quite pigmented quite dark so this right here these three are the middle row 
I really like them. Very pretty, like dark browns and sparkles in there. Super cute so far. And let's just go on into the very last row. So we have Herd to Get, we have Icon, and then we have Feisty. So Herd to Get, this looks like a really dark brown with maybe a hint of red in there. Yeah. Oop. Let's get a little bit more. It's not coming out as... So that's Herd to Get. And then we have Icon, that middle, that's a really dark shimmer shade really dark yeah that's a very like dark true brown right there and then we have feisty which is this dark palette it looks like a brown with a hint of purple in it or maybe just super dark let's try it let's get a little bit more it's a little There we go. That's all of them. That's my really bad um, swatch work right there. Sorry about that. As I'm sure you could tell just by the swatches here, from the top row to the bottom row, it gets lighter to darker, very obviously. But all of these colors are super cute. I think they'd look good on any skin tone. And we're going to do a really nice and dark kind of smoky eye look for this collection. And I'm very excited about that because I, I love a brown, dark, smoky eye. So let's just go on to doing the eye look. All right, so now we're doing the eyes and yes, I am up close and personal with you. <laughs> uh, so you can see I just put some concealer on my eyelids to kind of help with the base so that we could really get those colors to shine. So digging in, here we have so many choices. I think I wanna go, I don't, mm, let's go really dark today. Let's go really dark, really like sultry super glam i don't know if all those words really went together we're gonna start with this one up here um ground crew which is that mid-tone brown and i'm gonna use that in the crease with just a fluffy blender brush wow that is instantly coming out very pigmented also excuse my super dry eyelids i'm really sorry i just have naturally dry skin i put so much moisturizer on today and they're still really dry so let's just blend that out really smoky i think for this eye i want to go with like a halo effect so doing dark brown here and dark brown here and then like a that shimmery gold color yeah i think that's what i'm gonna go for so now i just blended that out and i'm keeping it really dark because we're going really dark today and i'm just gonna take that hashtag spot it that lighter one and just kind of Blend it up at the top there so it just blends a little nicer. Using the same brush, just kind of adding some more depth to it. And yes, I do tend to go really high up on my eyelid because I have really gigantic eyelids. So I, I go all the way up. Okay, so I, like I said, I want to do a halo eye. So I'm just taking a little like smaller pinpointed brush. And I'm going to take this color, um, hard to get and I'm going to start by putting it kind of in the corner here just packing it very precisely and since this is a small brush yes it's coming out a little spotted but that's fine we're gonna we're gonna blend it so yes that's very spotted not very blended so we're just taking that same blender brush and now we're just gonna blend it in a little better kind of bring them together in the crease I'm gonna take a little bit of that color on my brush there also, don't be afraid of dark colors. I know some people are really afraid of it. I know they can be harder to blend, they can get messy, but if you just take your time, you'll be perfectly fine, I promise. Makeup is a process. It takes time. The thing with dark colors, if you're in a rush, I wouldn't use dark colors because there's something you have to take a few minutes and actually like sit down and play with them to get them to work. All right, so see, we blended those little sections out. So we have those two blended out. And now I'm just gonna take that ground crew color again and just kinda right in the crease, just kinda help it look a little more defined. All right, so now it's nice and dark on both sides and you see we have this middle part open. I'm going to take the tiniest bit, the literal tiniest bit of my concealer. I'm using the Juvia's Place um, Eye Magic Concealer in Tokyo and I am like dusting it off. I just want the tiniest bit. Boop. And I'm just going to use my finger to kind of blend that. Like I said, I'm doing a halo effect. So we're going to go right in the middle. 
with a shiny color. Let's do, I really loved that like goldy, goldish coppery tone color, Fierce. And I'm just gonna use my finger because with ColourPop, their um, shimmer shades are very, there's a lot of fallout. So using a brush is gonna cause even more fallout. So use your finger because your finger is denser than a brush. So you'll pick up more and put down more. Wow, do you see that? Ooh, it's so pretty, I love it. Just gonna blend it a little more now that we have that middle shade in, just kind of blending up and around. Now I'm gonna kind of take another color. Let's go with Grasslands, this matte color with some glitter in it. And I'm gonna take it on my little smaller pointed brush. Tap it a little bit. And I'm gonna go under the eye. And don't be afraid to blend it down because like I said, this is a very smoky, dramatic look. It's very easy to do also. I, I really like halo eyes because they're easy to do and they are quite pretty. And then wiping that brush off on a paper towel or a makeup wipe, cleaning it for a second. I'm going to put a shinier shade in that middle. A lot of fallout in the pan, just so you know. Um, I'm going to take, I'm tempted to take the glitter one, that middle one, that pressed glitter but I always get worried about that getting in my eye. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna take it very lightly on that brush again. Just underneath. And I think maybe let's put a little bit of it because it's kind of a topper. And there's just some glitter. Let's put some on top of the color Fierce just to get some extra sparkle in there. And I'm being very light with it and kind of keeping my eyes closed because you don't want to get glitter in your eye. Um, it'll be very painful. Just saying. I'm just dabbing that on nice and lightly. All right, so that's one eye done. I know I can't do every single color on my eye to show you, but I did do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six colors out of nine. That's pretty good. Um, and this is a very easy, very simple look. I'm gonna fix up that glitter. I didn't get any on this little corner. Um, it's a very simple, very nice eye. I love halo eyes, and I love doing something with a brown, bronzy color and really making it dramatic and of course I don't have any lashes on I'm not going to do eyeliner I want to keep it very smoky today I really quickly am going to go do the other eye to match this one and then I'm going to put lashes on and then we'll do the lips and the blush all right so I just did the other eye and also put on some eyelashes and mascara so let's keep going I don't have anything on my face other than foundation right now we're going to go into the pressed powder blush let's see what color did i get this in i got it in jet set and of course the packaging is just adorable okay so that is the blush it's a very like nude um more of a beige toned blush with a tint of pink i don't know i might be able to actually contour with this this might be close to a bronzer on me but that's okay we're gonna try it anyway um because this like i said it's a very like brown based palette we love that, so let's give it a go. Let me grab my brush here. All right, so I'm gonna use my A Perfect 10 MOTD brush, and this is a great fluffy brush for like bronzing and blushes. So we're just gonna go on in. Um, I wanna see how this turns out on the skin. Okay, so there's like a tint of red in there, actually, uh, not red, um, pink. So this does come out more of a blush than I would say a bronzer. Just adds a nice sweep of color on there. I'll bring you in really close so you can see it. Like, can you see? So it's very, um, it's kind of like a nice bronzer shade, but there is a tint of like pink in there. I can definitely see it up close when I'm looking in the mirror. It definitely has a pink tint. This is a really nice, cute, like I think it's a really good like natural flush of uh, color on the face. Let me move my hair. Eh. I can yeah, I really like that actually that's just a really pretty flush of color on the face on the cheeks there oh I really like that that's so cute a little on the nose because I know the blush on the nose is kind of in right now Ah, oh, yeah that's so pretty Ooh, I really like that I've been getting more and more I used to like really dislike blush for some odd reason and recently I've been getting into it and so that's just a really pretty light natural flush of color I really like that this one here jet set this was the lighter of the two there was like a darker brown for um, darker skin colors I really like it I like this one at least um, jet set very pretty it's just giving me a nice little quick flush of color 
And I love that. I don't like going too heavy handed on intense red pink blushes. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so really quick before we do the lips, I also want to just put some highlight on quickly and I'm gonna use my favorite ColourPop highlight of all time, which is Flexterian. I'm sure if you're a ColourPop person, you have definitely used and or heard of this one. It is just an amazing highlight and I highly recommend it. I'm just going to quickly take my little fan brush and just dust it on the high points. Um, I usually, if I want a really, really, really intense highlight, you could either do something really soft and dewy with this one or very intense. Um, if you want something really intense, use your finger. It is amazing to get really intense pinpointed. And if you just want like a nice, really soft dusting of it, then um, I would use a fan brush. And I'm also gonna take my finger and pop that in the inner corner to get a little bit of shine and to just open up the eyes a little more. Cause like I said, it is very dark. And then also just a little under the brow bone, just very gently. Okay, so now that I have the face done, we can move on to the three lippy sticks that came with this collection. And I'm just gonna quickly pull them out of their little box here. There were three different shades. I believe they're all like a brownish nude color. Um, I decided to get all three because I really like brownie nude colors that are really cute. I think they're great for lips. And I really like these come in like brown. Again, they fit the collection with that gold color on there. Yeah, there's three colors, um, Brett Pack, Obehave, and Sassy. So there are three and it looks like there's a light brown, a mid brown, and a really dark brown. So let's swatch them, of course. We'll go with the lightest one first, which is Brat Pack. And it's almost the exact same color as the packaging. I'm just gonna swatch them like right on here, on like my palm here. So this is, um, Brat Pack, this is the lightest one. That's what it looks like. Very cute, um, a terracotta brown, I'd say. There's a bit of a gloss to it, which I like. So I think this is a satin texture rather than matte. But that's very cute, very terracotta color, like that one. I have a feeling it's gonna be very hard for me to pick which one I'm gonna wanna do with this look because they all look really cute. So now the mid-tone brown. So this one is called Sassy. You could tell it's a little darker. So we're gonna go right next to it. Yeah, so that one's much darker. This one has more of a red orange to it and this one is like a pure brown right there. That's very pretty. Again, it's more of a satin texture than a matte texture, which I kind of like actually, um, especially since it's winter and the chap lips are coming out for the season. So this one's the darkest one, Oh Behave. Oh, that's nice and dark. I love dark, dark browns. Like, that is beautiful. And we're gonna go right next to Sassy. Oh, that's like a pure chocolate brown. That is so pretty, so pretty. So that's all three of them. Very cute. If you like browns, these are all very cute. I think I kinda wanna go with the darkest shade. You know, got bold eyes, make like the boldest lip I possibly can. That chocolate brown is just too pretty. I haven't done a chocolate brown lip in a long time, so I think I'm gonna actually use this one, the darkest one, Oh Behave. I don't think I really have a brown lip pencil. Yeah, we're just gonna go in without a pencil and see how it goes, because I really wanna just highlight the actual product. So let's just go in. They kind of have a, as I'm putting it on, it kind of has a scent. Kind of smells like vanilla. Yeah, like vanilla cupcake. Just from, this is really slippery. You could kind of see it's kind of moving a little bit right here. It is not a matte. It is definitely a satin and it's gonna move a little bit. Okay, something I've instantly noticed from putting that on and maybe you can see, it bleeds. It bleeds a lot. Um, it definitely moves quite a bit. It was moving, so I kind of dabbed it with a paper towel, but then it kind of got really light. I'm gonna try this again, just so you're aware. It does bleed, it does move. It's a very slippery um, formula, but with dark colors, you do have to be careful because then it bleeds and it kind of, you could kind of see it right there. So I definitely would actually recommend a pencil with this, like a lip pencil, definitely to help it kind of not bleed as much, but I cannot think of a dark brown lip pencil that I have. I don't really have a lot of lip pencils, but yeah, I definitely would, otherwise it bleeds a little bit. But I do like the color, quite pretty. I'm waiting to see if it'll dry down or if it's gonna stay very glossy and move. I have a feeling it's gonna stay glossy and move. That's my take on it. While we're here, since we're done now, let's take a look at the final look we came up with. 
I think it's very pretty. I haven't done, I've been really into like really colorful looks lately. So this was a nice change of pace. And like I said, I think this palette is good work for any skin tone because they have some lighter colors like as my swatches are kind of fading a little bit, but they have very light and then they have nice and dark colors. Um, so you could create a bunch of different looks with this. And I think it'd fit any type of skin color. And if you're looking for a nude palette, this is really pretty. They do have a few nude palettes. I really like Going Coconuts. That one is a much lighter nude palette. Um, this one's probably the darkest nude palette they've put out, but I really like it. Like I said, I have blue eyes, so these colors just make them stand out so much more, which is why I really like these colors. And I haven't done a nude look in a while, so this was very pretty. So yeah. And if you want close-ups on the swatches, you should check out my Instagram, uh, Anna Zikas Makeup. I will be posting nice stenciled swatches of this palette on there and also um, pictures of this final look. If you really want to take a nice close-up or recreate it yourself, you should definitely go check it out um, as well. I also have a makeup TikTok, Anna Zikas Makeup, as well, where you can find me. All will be linked down below in the description if you are interested. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below what your thoughts on this palette are, on this collection. Um, would you get it? Do you think it's too similar to some of the stuff they've already done? Let me know your thoughts. I'm very curious to see what you think of it. Anyway, um, subscribe to my channel. Click that little red button down there and I put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.